Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, ready? Yep. I'm Shay. I'm Graham. And this is foolproof. What are we gonna do today, dude? We're gonna drink some whiskey as <laughs> usual, but we're gonna try putting some water into our whiskey. Hey yo. We have a <laughs> cut. <laughs> Today, we have old limestone mixing water. Yep. Some fancy ass mixing water. And you might be asking why. Well, lime. <laughs> why, Graham? Why do we have this fancy ass mixing water? When talking whiskey and making bourbon specifically, limestone water is like kind of integral to the process. Okay. Because it filters out impurities um, and just adds like minerals to the water, to, to the mash and everything that makes the whiskey taste better. So we're not going to get too much into that today, but we wanted to, instead of getting some sink water, if, um, the water that goes into the whiskey before it actually becomes a whiskey before oh, it's aged and everything is so okay. important, so. might as well get this fancy ass fucking water yeah. and try it that way instead of just putting some tap water. A little bougie. It. Yeah. Um, we've done but, just regular tap water. We've uh, tried uh, Topo Chico, just like mineral water a couple times, but nothing this um, specific. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get into it. It'd be cool it. to see. So this kind of tells you a little of what they want you to do with it. So might as well check that out. Um, but how to enjoy bourbon like a professional. That's literally <laughs> what right. it says on the Great. back of the brochure. Here we go. So the idea is kind of to get a higher proof whiskey and then a lower proof whiskey, add water to both and see what happens with those. We have some Weller 12 oh, here. Weller 12. Um, low proof um, bourbon. Yeah, what's the proof on it? 90 proof, right? Oh, okay, yeah, so just straight It's an older proof. bourbon, um, but so. super low proof. No cork pop on that, very disappointing. No. Um, and then here we have Larceny um, Barrel Proof. It's pretty fucking hot, it's 122. Uh, 0.4 proof. Should we? Well, since we're adding the mineral water to it, so it says pour an inch. An inch. So yeah, I need a little bit more. So pour you did a tiny pour. We are. <laughs> we kind of want to pace ourselves because we're going to be trying. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to fall in search because it says pour an inch of bourbon into a glass. That's going to be a lot of. Pour a second inch of bourbon. So wait, taste it and then pour more in, yeah. and then put the water in. Yeah. Oh shit. It seems crazy, but we got a lot of whiskeys to go through, so maybe we're just gonna forget about that shit. Yeah. Um, we're not really ones for constructions anyways. And the, oh yeah, this is larceny for sure. Got that peanut note. Do you get that from larceny? Do you get peanuts? Because that's what I'm getting. Yeah, actually, that, um, funny that you say that. <laughs> it is definitely peanuty, and I'm kind of hoping the water maybe tones down that nut. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we're gonna taste them. Kind of just thirsty. AB, taste them first. Yeah, yeah. So starting Weller 12 on our right. It's definitely a weeder. Yeah. Um, I don't really know what else. We haven't really reviewed any of the Wellers, but and we drink them fairly uh, often at your house, but we've never really tried to do like nosing notes or like tasting notes no, before. I don't think, just, right? Just, just kind of sip on. To me, Weller 12 is just like. Maybe a little fruity, but like, just really like Taste, classic bourbon It's notes. like a uh, cereal. That's what it reminds me of. Like uh, frosted mini wheats that have already sat in the milk for a while. That's what it smells like to me. All right, let's pour a little water in it. I'm gonna do, how many drops do you think? Cause it's not much whiskey in that glass. Two, three? That was three, maybe. Um, yeah, we'll call that three. Three's right. a lucky, lucky number, ready? Boom, on the dot, three. Alright, um, they say to... Are we agitating these? Are we letting it sit? Like, Well, I threw the instructions, <laughs> but I think, I think we should kind of mix it in a little bit. Okay. Um, and maybe give it a second to sit. Because when people talk about like blending whiskeys or something, they talk about like letting it um, mingle or whatever. Let, mingle. Let it, I don't know how much validity that has, but we'll give it a couple minutes to mingle. You know what I mean? Yeah. If we're being professional let with it, this <laughs> let them get to know each water, other. might as well, yeah. So let's get into this larceny while we're... See a nut bomb? So, for yeah, sure. So much peanut. See, I'm not getting it too much tonight. Like dry, dry dusty. But when I first... Yeah, yeah. dry dusty mm -hmm. peanuts. I got a little dry dusty on my... Oh, shit. That's interesting. I'm not getting much nut right now. Ooh, that's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> 
Come on. <laughs> Get a little more mature. Question for you. Do you smell better out of your right or your left nostril? Do you notice a difference? But you do have a good nostril and a bad nostril. Yeah. And I think my right nostril is my good nostril. Supposed to be. Well, technically <laughs> your your nostril switches, your powerful one. Like it's always you always have one that's like, you know, blown a little better than the other. We'll add a little water while we're here, so let's it, see what, what um Larceny's from which distillery? Heaven again? Heaven Hill. Heaven Hill. Which distillery. also produces what? They have Evan Williams. Oh, okay. And come on. Come on, man. I need to give a little pair loose. Whoop. Uh, Bro. Nailed it. And so is that a, a flavor profile oh, okay. that people um, see in Heaven Hill whiskeys? Like do they usually find like you know, peanut notes in it? Like across the I know. Board? Dickel for sure is, and I think people do talk about that little nuttiness of Heaven Hill. I know I get it. Yeah. And but this is, I mean, we've tried that Evan Williams. We're maybe getting a little peanut in there, but not crazy. No. Um, but they talk about like an Evan Williams, like a Heaven Hill funk, actually. Yeah. Is what people talk about. Mm -hmm. And maybe there's some nut caught up in that funk, but uh, some funky nuts. Oh, I'm already, I already changed. So okay, back to the Weller 12. The Weller with, now with. The with limestone, the, yeah, that yeah. fancy. On the nose now, I oh. get like banana, banana nut bread. Yeah, actually. Mm -hmm. With like, oh, with, I feel like it got better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honestly, it's like showing a little more. Uh -huh. Like it's just like a, everything's a little more pronounced. Like those vanilla caramel flavors are like a little more there. You, I feel like I'm getting a little more fruit, maybe. Like maybe a little more, I don't want to say cherry, but something darker. What do you think about the palette? I flattened it out of the palette for me. Oh, it did? Yeah. I felt like I was getting, well, because it's already like at the at 90 proof. So like, I feel now it's just like if I, um, <clears throat> it kills the, if the, I put ice in it and just like let it sit too long. There's no finish. Exactly. It's gone off Falls the palette off the right away. Uh -huh. Man, I almost just got a little nuttiness in this one. <laughs> What the hell? The the nose, the nose is, is definitely better, way better with the mineral water. Like, but is it worth sacrificing that palate? And live in here. Um, mm. It's honestly like still really good, still really drinkable, but there's just no. Oh, never mind. I'm getting some finish on that one. I spoke too soon. It's there a little more. I think you are right though. It kind of takes it down a bit. Good ex okay, I'm excited to get through this one. Honestly. Yeah, this will be cool. So, oh my God. higher proof, maybe needs a little water, who knows. Did the so nose is uh, way, <laughs> way crazier. This is on par with that, with that dickle, dickle, the bottle and bond that we got, that 11 year. It's on par with that nut. Those are the levels of nut we're dealing with here. So like, we, we've said dried peanut before, but uh, like I'm gonna say, boy, exactly, yeah. bold peanuts. There's like bold peanuts, yep. There's a little bit of moisture to it. Yeah. Yeah, like a musty. But let's see if we can get past that though. Yeah. It's so dominant. Like I want to smell other stuff in this, but I can't right now. Oh, yeah. Caramel? A little bit? Or like uh, See, maybe if you like caramelize sugar like too long, yeah, like a little, a little burnt, burnt. Uh -huh. I was gonna say burnt toffee, maybe. Oh, okay. Like a little browned, brown something. See, now that's good. I think that made it better because the, the first sip, like when it hit <laughs> my lips, it was like stinging. It was like punch you in the mouth. This is like way more palatable, and the finish is still super, super long. Yeah, I, I think it's a really long finish. I do think the peanutiness that we it's, were getting came out a little more. Yeah. But I think all the flavors came out a little more. Like for being 122, I was hoping to get a little more flavor from this one and I think the water kind of did that. As to whether or not I like that peanut flavor, I don't know. But it's, the other flavors are there more too, I think. All peanut, caramel, vanilla, kind of burnt note, notes, but nothing have you, uh, lately I've been picking up like a lot of oak and stuff. I don't get any woodiness. No, that's this. a good point. This isn't like, well, I think it's more peanut shell than like wood, mm -hmm. you know? Like there is kind of like that element of fibers and whatever. 
It's not like wood. Yeah. Let's see what you're saying. All right. Enough about these two, maybe. Which one should we go to next? I need to finish these whiskeys, or should we have a dump glass? No. We really just need to drink them, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some fresh glass. Yeah, yeah. Producer, Could you, Jess, uh, producer, can we, can um, we do your job. Blends, please. <laughs> um, 